What's up, guys? Prince Sports here. Now, as I watched Chris Paul and Devin Booker put on the show again, take a 3-0 lead against the Denver Nuggets, the team that I picked to beat the Phoenix Suns, which was the Denver Nuggets, I'm starting to look more wrong by the minute. They proving me by the minute that I'm wrong. So, shout out to the Phoenix Suns. Shout out to Devin Booker. Shout out to Chris Paul. They proving me wrong, man. And... Here's the thing. That got me to thinking. Is that the best duo in the playoffs right now? You got Devin Booker and Chris Paul. You got Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. You got Spider, you know, and Rudy Gobert. You got Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Now, on paper, there's, there's probably the most... Um, standout duo is um, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, right? No, it's the most flashy, so to speak. The most eye-popping duo. But, right now in the playoffs, the Suns are the only team with a 3-0 lead. And Devin Booker and Chris Paul has been playing great so far. You know? They knocked off the champions. Now Chris Paul seems a, a tad bit more healthier. Him and Devin Booker are being a great one-two punch. You know, the best backcourt in basketball for the playoffs. So I got to give it to those two guys as the best duo in basketball right now. And, yo, the way that they're handling the Denver Nuggets is scary, man. And you know what? The Denver Nuggets need uh, Jamal Murray. But I don't know if Jamal Murray even would have made a difference with this team because... They're just flat out, out playing the Denver Nuggets, you know. They look, they get whatever they want. They're always having control of the game. You never get the sense that they're going to lose the game when, they, uh, when they're playing against this Denver Nuggets team. Um, Devin Booker hit some contestant good shots, you know, hit a three right in some dude's face, you know, one hand. <laughs> Bank, bank off the board shots, you know, he's, he's, he's balling, you know, it's a, there's no other way to put it. This series is over. I was wrong. The Denver Nuggets will get swept with their so-called MVP. You know, it's kind of annoying that guys win the MVP when the playoffs start. They never live up to that MVP title, you know. For him to go out like this is kind of kind of weak, you know. Kind of give credence to, hey man, it's really Joe and B, but he gave that award away for free because he was injured all the time. And speaking of Philly, you know they're gonna go to the third round against the Brooklyn Nets. It's gonna be the Philadelphia 76ers and the Brooklyn Nets in the third round, you know, Eastern Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals. It's looking like it's gonna be a Suns and. Utah Jazz matchup, a one and a two seed, proving all of us wrong that these guys actually earned the right to be called the one and two seed. And they ain't those for no reason, you know? My nigga. <laughs> Great future teams that's going to get better within the future. But this may be a one and done for them because as these older guys start to realize, hey, I'm not the man no more. If I'm not the man no more, I got to go and recruit some more players. I hope this off season that we don't see no big threes, you know, no more super teams, because I keep telling people this whole super team stuff is just not good for basketball. Look how competitive basketball is and more fun it is to watch when you don't know who's going to win, when it's more 50-50. Okay, when you put all this talent on one team, it just seems lopsided, okay? You know, let your teammates grow organically, draft them, do the draft like a real team supposed to develop. You know, when you pick Draft people do a draft pick. You don't know who's going to be what. You know, and the Phoenix Suns take your hat off to them. They're able to get the job done. The only new guy on that team is Chris Paul. That's it. You know, everybody else was drafted to that team. And they developed. They went through the growing pains. And good team. That's why you never see people say, even though they have three best players, people don't label them a super team. You know why? Because they got drafted. Okay, 
They develop them on their own. People don't use that term super team. Only when guys are in free agency and they get pulled from team to team, from team to team, and combine on one team to combine as a super team because they're already established, you know? So thank God that the Phoenix Suns ain't that. And the best duo in basketball is CP3 and Devin Booker. Can't believe I'm saying this. Prince Sports out. Peace.